Hi guys, I'm sitting here at my um, temporarily mocked up table that we made, um, just enjoying the bus life. And Randy's at the back of the bus making all kinds of noise this morning. So I thought I'd better go investigate, but I also thought I'd take you guys along with me. So let's go see what he's doing back there, should we? Oh, he's got the lift back here. Oh man, and there's a heister. Oh no, and he's got the bumper off. Baby, what are you doing? You missed out, man. What the heck are you doing to our box? Well, I'm gonna paint the back end of it. We're gonna so, paint the back end of the bus? Right, so when we can get the mini split back on there, so if the weather warms up, we'll be able to sleep in there. Oh, right. But We're getting we're... close to halfway moving in, right? Right. Oh my goodness. So well, this was pretty simple. It's just, these are shims that hold it off of there. Let me come around to the other side. Yeah, so these could those were in there, huh? Yeah, and the bumper was crooked, but it's adjustable in this hole. Yeah, it kind of looked like at some point they hooked the bumper, huh? Well, it's bent right yeah, here. Yeah, on you, our bus. You can yeah. See that. So, so we can have bend this back out while we got it off. Yeah. Oh, it is really bent. Give it some TLC, huh? Yeah. Oh, guys, so we're going to paint the back of our bus. How cool is that? But I can tell we have a lot of prep work to do ahead of us. Huh? Just a little bit. So I got this advice from another bus builder. His name's Bill, but I can't remember his last name. Anyhow, he said, don't look at painting the bus all at one time. So he suggested just painting it in sections. Oh. So if we go get some big tarps that we can hang over, we can mask off the back end here, prep it, paint it and have it finished and then there's one section done right and then move up because when you paint you have a limited stretch you know with how far you can cover and get a wet coat so instead of trying to get that wet all the way down you do just like eight foot uh-huh so we'll do eight foot here and then eight sixteen down the side of the bus maybe we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes youtube we'll see what's up Okay guys, taking off all these lights. And from the get-go, I kind of suspected I might have to replace them all. And if I show you down here, the gaskets and everything from when I took off this side. So I got all of those taken out. And all the gaskets and everything inside of them are so cooked and rotten. And the tabs that you hook the license plates on with are completely baked. They're toast. And that handle, the latch handle, is pretty sun-cooked also. So hopefully I can find a bus supply place where I can uh, get some of this stuff. So I don't really, I don't really want to spend the time changing these things. I'd rather just put them back in here the way they are. See, these are regular old light bulbs still, so I'm hopeful I can find a LED replacement that's that same size. So taking all this stuff off is kind of confirmed. These plastic connectors are all really brittle. Even though some of these are LEDs, I think I'd just be better off to put all new lights back here and then I won't have to worry about it. Yeah, guys, look at this. This is bad. <laughs> These things are completely baked. I mean, they're just, there ain't gonna be no putting those back on. And all these plugins are pretty cooked too. I, I think I need to get new wires all the way back here. I have to put wires to the back anyway. Okay, so I got this handle off, and actually when I drove the bus home from Phoenix, this back door kept flopping open. I taped it shut with Gorilla Tape, but now I can see the problem is this thing not going back up where it was supposed to. It's all gummed up. So 
so that little tab wasn't sticking out as far as it was supposed to. Anyhow, if I can find a new one of these, I'll just replace this too. So what I've been talking about with this stuff is all so sun cooked that these are the little tabs that the screws would go in for the license plate. And when you try to push them out, oh, they're, just they're so brittle. Falling apart. They just fall apart. They're toast. Yep. But that's it. I got the door stripped off. We can clean it up and get it ready to paint. Awesome. Oh, people, it's happening. We are painting the back of our bus. Crazy is it was 75 degrees earlier, and now we're facing this. Okay guys, here's the second coat going on. Randy's in the groove. He loves this stuff. Okay guys, there you have it. We have an electric lime color on the back of our bus. It is, it's incredible. She looks so different being all painted the same color. So um, we just love sharing the journey with all of you and um, know that we're so grateful for all your support and your comments that you give us. And we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.